Selection next speaking voice here, here will be uh, uh, Elder Neville in Jesus' name. Amen. But we're going to be on the fast track this morning, but we're going to be with us, said the Lord. 
in Jesus' name. And it's amazing how God does things. Praise God. I, every time I'm asked to, to speak, amen, I always ask God, Lord, what should we say uh, to the people of God? Yeah. What do the people of God need to hear? What do I need to hear, Lord? Because I'm not just preaching to them, I'm preaching to myself as well. Yeah. And so I thank God for, amen, uh, just sending uh, just confirmation after confirmation of what needed to be said or needs to be said on today. And this will serve simply as a reminder. Even down to early this morning, uh, Sister Mill and I were talking at home, praise God, and, and she asked me, she always does this, uh, Bishop Fowler, she asked me, uh, is there a word from the Lord? <laughs> you, know, that, you know, there's no pressure like that other than when your wife asks you, is there a word from the Lord? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Amen. But I told her, I said, yes, I believe that there is. Yeah. Amen. And I'm just continuing to ask God to continue to stamp his approval on it. Amen. And so what my wife did, unbeknownst to her, amen, she handed me her phone and said, uh, well, uh, I need to do something right quick, but I'm going to pull up my daily scripture for today, my daily verse on my phone for today. It comes to my phone every day. Will you read that to me? Amen. And when I, when I and I said to myself, I said, now, Lord, if this is the same passage or the same chapter that you led me to speak from this morning uh, or this afternoon, then I'm going to know for sure beyond a shadow of a doubt. And don't you know, the same Bible verse that had come up as our daily verse is the same chapter that God led me to to speak from this morning, this afternoon. Praise the Lord. So I just looked up, in, up into the ceiling, up into the sky, and I looked, I pointed my finger at God, and I said, God, you're just showing off now. Amen. But I praise God for his goodness in Jesus' name. If you will go to the 91st chapter, 91st chapter of the book of Psalm, Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Yeah. Amen. And because, of course, we're moving quickly this morning or this afternoon, we're going to just read a, uh, a portion of this psalm, just a couple of verses. Praise the Lord and take our thought from uh, those verses. Amen. Uh, Psalm 91. If you have it out there in your cars, we honk your horns so we know. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, during the message, of course, when, you know, because we don't see you in here, praise the Lord, you can help us. Amen. Anytime you feel like saying amen or you identify with something that has been said that you know, amen, that the Lord is speaking to you, I invite you to just honk your horn, amen, when that happens. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So now Psalm 91, the uh, first verse says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2 I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Amen. My God in him will I, what? Trust. Trust. Amen. Amen. Now the rest of this psalm, of course, I invite you to read the rest of it uh, at a later time. Praise the Lord, because this is a very significant psalm in the life of a believer. Amen. But I want to take from a thought from those first two verses of Psalm 91. Simple subject this afternoon. God will take care of you. Yes, he will. God will take care of you. Amen. The more uh, you talk about Psalm 91, amen, the more we think about Psalm 91, amen, uh, it's, it's very easy to miss it up yeah. because the majesty that Psalm 91 uses to describe our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen, it doesn't need a whole lot of elaboration. Praise the Lord. In other words, you can read Psalm 91 for yourself and you'll realize that this passage is beyond any of our own description. Yeah. Praise God. The Word of God tells us that, amen, that the Lord has this secret place. Yes. Amen. In this secret place, when you decide to dwell in it, praise the Lord, you are abiding then under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. Amen. And I don't know if you realize it in the Word of God, that word Almighty is with a capital A, which 
distinguishes it from any other person that might want to call themselves the greatest. Yeah. Amen. We serve an almighty God. And simply put, this Psalm 91 is a, a psalm of protection. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's a reminder to the people of God that, yes, he will take care of you. Yeah. Amen. But there is a condition in the word of God, praise the Lord, and, you, and that condition simply is that you've got to dwell. Yeah. Amen. And when we talk about dwelling, praise God, dwelling is defined as to live or stay as a permanent resident. Yeah. Amen. So this when we talk about dwelling, praise the Lord, in the secret place of the Most High, amen, we're not talking about a double dutch salvation, amen. You know when you've seen people jumping double dutch, amen, somebody's standing on the outside waiting to jump in, and then they keep rocking back and forth trying to get their time right. Well, praise the Lord, when they finally jump in, amen, sometimes the rope hits them and they have to start all over. Praise God. But this is not a double dutch salvation that we're talking about. Amen. You have to dwell in the midst of God, praise the Lord, in order to receive that protection and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah. Amen. The truth of the matter is, is that Jesus already knows who he is. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He already knows how great he is. He already knows what he is capable of. And there's this hashtag, amen, that's going around on social media, and it says, Hashtag IYKYK. And what that means is if you know, you know. Yeah. Amen. And in, the, in the Word of God, amen, the more I read about the Word of God, the more I find out about Him, amen, the more He does for me, the more I realize that no matter what comes my way, I realize that God is going to take care of me. Yeah. Amen. You might be in the car with somebody right now. Tell them if you know, you just know. Amen. That God will take care of you. Amen. We are the ones who are still learning who Jesus is. Amen. We sing this song that says, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Amen. And the reason that we, a people of God, can say that is because we have this blessed hope in God that whatever comes our way, whatever tests and whatever trials come our way, whatever frustrations come our way, whatever circumstances come our way, we have this blessed hope that Jesus Christ is going to be right there. Why? Because he promised in his word that yes, he will take care of us. Praise the name of our God. That's why he is my refuge and he is my fortress. Praise the name of our God. The writer in this psalm declared that God is everything that they need for him to be. Amen. He is not only a refuge, but amen, meaning that you can run into him and that you are safe. Praise the Lord. But he is also a fortress. In other words, once you get there in the refuge, he's able to encamp his angels round about you and to keep you safe from all harm. Can you say amen, somebody? Praise the Lord. And that's why I declare, just like in Psalm 91 and verse 2, in him will I trust. Are there any folks out there who can blow their horns and say, I'm going to trust in God anyhow? Praise the name of our God. I trust in him because I've seen him work for others in the midst of their storms. I'm going to trust him anyhow because I have seen him work miracles in the lives of other people. Praise the name of our God. I, I remember, praise the name of our God, on the last week or so, amen, one of my colleagues came to me and said, brother, I need some prayer because I've got a condition in my body. The doctor, I've been back to two different doctor's appointments, and on both times they saw something, a mass in my body that was not supposed to be there. Amen. And they told me to come back in another week, praise the name of our God. And they were going to try to figure out a plan of action to try to fix this mass in my body. Amen. And what I told this colleague of mine was that we are going to trust in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you know that the name of the Lord is a strong power? Yes, it is. And the righteous will run into it and they are saved. And so I told this woman, praise the name of our God, the situation that's in your body. When you go back to the doctor, I'm looking for a testimony in your life. And so what we decided to do, praise the name of our God, I had some oil, praise the Lord, right there in my desk. And I asked, do you mind if I anoint you? And praise the name of our God. So I put my hand on her hand. And I anointed her in the name of Jesus Christ. And we had prayer right there in the office. And God came into the midst. 
And so when she went back to the doctor, after seeing this mass in her body at two different doctor's appointments, the doctor followed up with her and he said, I can't find nothing else in your body. I can't find the mass nowhere. I know that God is a healer. He'll heal both body and your soul. And I know when you call on the name of Jesus, he is able to keep you. And that's why I declare this morning that no matter what comes your way, God will take care of you. Yes, he will. Thank you, Jesus. I know we're in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, I understand that Omicron is still running red. But I declare that God will take care of you. I know they're calling for this winter storm. They're calling for snow, sleet, ice, and freezing rain. And they're saying that there's a chance that the power is going to go out. But I dare you to declare to yourself, God's going to still take care of me. Hallelujah to his name. You might be right there sitting in your car beside somebody who is sick in their body, in their spirit, or in their mind. I want to tell you that God will take care of you. I want you to look at that person sitting right beside you, whether they're in the car with you or not. And I want you to point your finger and wave it at them like you're telling them something. God will take care of you if you just put your trust in him. God will take care of you. Now, do I have any believers out there that can testify along with me that God will take care of you? I don't care what comes, and I don't care who goes, but I know that God will take care of me. I don't care who don't believe it. I don't care who ain't trying it. But I know for myself that God will take care of me. He'll take care of you. Now put those hands together. Put those hearts. And let's give God some praise. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The song said, be not dismayed. Whatever be tired, God will. He'll take care of you beneath his wings of love about God will. Yes, he will. He'll take care of you. Yes, I understand that sometimes your faith gets a little weary. But what you have to remind your spirit is that you serve an awesome God. And if you serve an awesome God and he sits high and he looks low, you can declare to yourself, yes, my situation, it might look a little crazy right now, but I declare to myself that I will trust in the name of the Lord. I will trust in the name of the Lord until I die. Oh, yes, I will. And if God decides that he don't want to do it for me while I got breath in my body, I'm going to die in belief that he's still able to do it. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that I can ask for things according to the power. That ain't just no any kind of power, but it's the Holy Ghost power down on the inside that lets me know that though he slay me yet will I trust him and that's why you can look at me when I'm sitting in my car and I can lift up my hand because I'm testifying that God is a good God oh yes he is God is a good God oh yes he is so I want to remind you today beloved that God will take care of you. Everything you got that you're thrown at the feet of God, just go in belief, knowing that God will. He's going to take care of it. He's going to see about you. He has not forgotten about you. So if you believe that God is on our side, why don't you say yes and hold on yeah. to him? Yeah. Well, praise the name of God. God will. Yes, he will. He will take care of us. 
us. Amen. And I want to declare to you today, amen, as I prepare to take my seat, amen, that we serve a God, a God who can do the impossible. We serve a God who can do things that will confound the wise. The doctors, they got to scratch their head when you call on the name of Jesus because ain't nothing too hard for my God. Ain't nothing bigger than my God. And that's why when I go to this passage of scripture in Psalm 91, I know that God's got my back. Yeah, my daddy got my back. And I don't have to worry about it no more. Yeah, I might cry sometimes. Yes, I might get discouraged sometimes. Yes, I might scratch my head and try to figure it out on my own. But hallelujah to his name. But when you decide that I will be all that God's calling for me to be, which means that I'm going to be a person with some faith, I'm going to be that person that God is looking for to go into the highways and the hedges and compel others to come into the knowledge of the truth. Jesus wants to do something for somebody on today. And it don't matter where you are right now. Jesus can find you wherever you are. You haven't done anything that's so bad that Jesus can't love you out of it. Praise the name of our God. So I need somebody. I want somebody to testify with me and know that God is able to take care of all those loved ones. He's able to take care of our unsaved loved ones. He's able to take care of every situation that we bring to him. Oh, bless his name. God will. God will. He will take care of you. God bless you. Put your hands together. Humble towards it. And let's give God some praise. Yeah, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thousands of people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank thousands and thousands have been touched through this word because we in here, just a few of us, but I feel like the angels was filled with this word. The anointing has put forth. Thank you, Jesus. Blind eyes are being touched. Lame bodies are being healed. In the name of Jesus. But the word of God has went forth. In a powerful way, just like he was preaching to thousands and thousands in the room. That's what it's all about saying. The invisible God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your Lord. Praise God for this mighty word. J. Jehovah. E. Elohim. P. Priest. Jesus did all. He was Elohim. He was Jehovah. And he was priest. And king. He did it all. This word, I tell you. That'll be preached. Somebody give God a honk yeah. those horns. That's the word. What a word that we, I don't know if you didn't need it, but I need it. It was for me. It was for me. I'm, I just tell you, I, anybody that's not saved today, if you don't know the Lord, through this word, he's secure. He'll keep you. He'll protect you. Yes, he will. And right now, if you don't know the Lord, you can receive him right now right now you can receive it where you're sitting Thank you, Jesus. somebody right there struggling with drugs somebody struggling with alcohol the word has went forth Psalm 91 he is a strong child center right now right where you're sitting if you will accept the word of God that will is preach right now wherever you are that word has reached you I know somebody felt that word. I know somebody felt that word. I, I felt it. I know somebody else. Thank you. Everybody's watching it right now. Jesus wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to break that habit, that addiction. Yes, yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 
not only the addiction of drugs, the addiction of lying, the whole lot of yeah, yeah. Whatever the situation may be right now, he wants to come into your life and save you. He wants to deliver you right now. In the adorable and the precious name of Jesus, let him in right now. Let him in. Right now. According to Acts 2 and 38, right now, his name is Jesus Christ. He's the Savior of the world. He came to save those which are lost. If you want to be secure, get in his name right now. He's the only name that's given among men that you should be saved in Jesus' name. The word I went forth, Psalms is 91. What a powerful word. What a powerful word. Praise God. Thank God for that word on this day. Psalms 3, Acts 2, Acts 2, and, and you're hearing Acts 2 and 37. Now when they heard this word that he just preached, they were pricked in their heart, the word he just preached, and said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? The man of God preached to you today. He has touched your heart. 38, verse of 2nd Acts 2 and 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent. He said, Repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. He didn't say the Father. He didn't say the Son. He did not say the Holy Ghost. He said, In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise, it's a promise, saints, is unto you and to your children and to all that are fall, even as many as the Lord God shall call. In other words, and, and with many other words did he testify and exalt, saying, Save yourself from this unborn generation. So if you receive this word on today, Right now, I want you to repent. Thank God to forgive you. Because we're going to call the man of God back to pray a prayer over you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, again, we come to you. We want to simply say thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for the word that has come forth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the encouragement that I even feel in my spirit even now. Yes, Lord. Thank you right now, Lord God, for those, Lord God, who are here in the service, Lord God, either through social media or on the grounds. Lord, I pray right now this prayer of faith, God, that you will touch, Lord God, and do whatever needs to be done for them. God, I pray, God, that you bring down every high place. Oh, God, I pray, God, that you will touch your people and that you will bless them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, if there be any other, oh, God, that need to know you in the free pardon of their sins, God, I pray, Lord, that your spirit would even touch them right now from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, let them know that you are right there with them, oh, God, even in the fiery trials that they're trying, oh, God, to endure. Yes. Let them know, God, that you are right there, that you can do anything but fail. Because God, as the word declared today, you will take care of us. Yes. Now, Lord God, I pray, Jesus, that you would bless, continue to bless this church, continue to bless, oh God, the churches, the people of God worldwide. Lord God, and bless us, oh God, even when we leave this place. Protect us, oh God, and whatever is to come, oh God, even through the weather. We pray, God, that you would do it right now for us. Meet every need, oh God. Do it for us right now, oh God. And we'll be careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 If you heard the word, you hear this prayer, you can, we can be reached at Samaritan Church of Apostolic Faith, 1025 Mizpah, M-I-Z-P-A-H, Church Road, Reasonable, N-C, 27320. If you need to contact us, you can call at 336-549-9076, 336 336-549-9076. Five four nine nine zero seven six. We will answer. We will talk to you or pray with you. If you want a place to come, come and visit. You feel free. We are here. We're not uh, black, white, green, whatever church. We are God's church. 
And we, if we have people of God, we, we get away from denominationalism, we get away from race, color, and creed. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about who you, it's not about me. It's about our Savior. Amen, amen. amen. So if you feel like you need a word, you need somebody to pray with you and pray about your situation. Just call that number, and we'll be more than happy. Hallelujah. Welcome to the family of God. And we're going to get a close. I thank God for that beautiful message, Dr. Ta uh, Dr. Uh, Miller. That was a powerful word on today. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. That Father God, we thank you for such a powerful word. Let this word go, let it fall on good ground. Let someone receive this word that needed it. Because so many millions in this country and around this world need this type of word. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, be blessed, be safe. In Jesus' name. And we'll see you next week on Zoom. We had Zoom on Wednesday night starting at 7 o'clock. Look us up. We will be glad to have you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.